when people try and become an AI product manager. In the coming three years, all product managers will become an AI product manager because eventually they're going to add a few AI features on the roadmap. However, most people are very confused about the differences between AI product management and traditional product management, where to get started and what skills to prioritize. However, become an AI product manager is much easier than you thought. In this video, I'm going to break down top five differences between AI product management and traditional product management to demystify your path to AI career. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you how technical you need to be to become an AI product manager. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product teacher in Forbes. I've helped thousand people manage the team PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to promote it as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe, check out new video every Tuesday. The very first product I launched is an AI product, which used machine vision to reduce car crashes. And that specific product received the Mayor's Best Practice Award in 2016. That's way before AI was hot. Now, let me use those real life examples and show you what the major differences between AI PM and traditional PM. The number one difference is the problem solver versus innovator. As a traditional product manager, we're all problem solvers because we want to understand the user needs and desire and pain point and try to create a scalable product to solve problem for our customers. We also want to focus on the user journey, product market fit, and go-to-market strategy. And in this case, I call the traditional product manager a problem solver. But AI product manager is a souped up version of problem solver where I give the name as an innovator because AI product manager not only need to find out product market fit, solving problem for customers, they're also trying to innovate using those new technology that didn't exist in the past few years, such as large language model. An AI product manager frequently trying to make the existing product even better and more efficient by using new technology, which is AI. Sometimes they're going to have a breakthrough using AI to create products that can never exist in the past, such as self-driving car. Now let me give you a simple day-to-day -day AI example. For example, Instacart. Traditionally, Instacart is just trying to help you to buy groceries. But once you put AI into Instacart, and Instacart already launched a new feature, which is to integrate with ChatGPT, where you can ask ChatGPT to create different recipes for your family, and then create an Instacart order to get all the ingredients ready to have a fancy family meal. And even better, if we can use AI to create an end-to-end -end experience, by only telling AI that I'm a family of four and busy mom entrepreneur, with young, with two young children. Maybe Instacart can create a more end-to-end -end brand new AI feature directly giving me the weekly grocery delivery plus all the recommended recipes that they think a new mom like me would love. Those are traditional products that can be innovated using AI. Of course, you can also use AI to create moonshot ideas such as self-driving car, a robot taxi, and those is going to change the dynamics of future of transportation. The second difference is AI knowledge. AI product manager requires a deep understanding of AI knowledge, such as machine learning, large language model, data pipeline, integration, and implementation. And AI product manager also need to consider trust and safety and compliance related to AI. And of course, and when you train your AI model, you also need to consider those bias in the training data set. As a traditional product manager, you can be technical or non-technical depends on the product you build. For example, if you build cloud, you need to have a cloud technical knowledge related to cloud. However, if you build Uber app or Instacart as a product manager, what you need is customer empathy and the business insight in terms of how to drive user adoption and solving problem for customers. I made a separate video about four fundamentals of AI product management lifecycle. It's going to give you more in-depth understanding regarding how AI is used on top of traditional AI product management. You can check out the video right here. Uh, I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. The third difference is a problem solving methodology. In AI product management, we spend additional time on training AI models, clean up the data set, and ensure data quality and accuracy. And this is something traditional product manager does not do. However, traditional product manager frequently also use data-driven methodology, but they really use data in very different ways. They may use data for A-B testing or use data for growth, product management, and they can also use data to identify customer insight. 
and usabilities of their product. Of course, AI product manager need to do something quite similar to understand user engagement, user insight, but they just spend extra effort to really train the machine learning model. For example, when I launched my award-winning AI Smart Cities product in 2016, I spent a lot of time working with my AI ML engineers to make sure the model is trained properly. And we will also figure out a very innovative way to collect data to train our model. And because collecting data is actually very expensive at the time. I also worked with my engineering team to decide what type of existing model we can leverage or what kind of new features we need to build on top of some existing models. After figuring out the modeling part and I went back to the traditional product management roles responsibilities, we should design the UI UX with my designer team and understand and solving specific problems for customers and understand the end-to-end -end user journey map and drive and design a go-to-market strategy. You can learn more about real-life AI product management by watching this video where I talk about the day in life as an AI product manager. I'm also going to put it in the description of this video. If you're interested in learning more real-life examples of building AI product and land your dream AI PM job, you should join our waitlist of our upcoming new AI product management course by going to the link of description of this video and check out the new course in June 2024. The fourth difference is team collaboration. The two types of collaboration we need to do as an AI product manager. One is internal team collaboration, and this is the same as traditional product management, but our team become bigger. We still work as front-end and back-end engineers as a traditional product manager. However, AI product manager need to work with ML engineers, data scientists, to develop those models and decide what type of model to use and those kind of accuracy of those models. And we may or may not follow the agile methodology when we train those models, but when we develop the software features, we still follow the agile methodology. The second type of team collaboration for AI product managers is AI advocacy. So as an AI product manager, we need to advocate the usage of AI within the existing organization to our internal stakeholders. Because not everybody likes AI, a lot of people are so afraid AI is going to take their jobs which is kind of true. But AI, on the other hand, can also make everybody's life more productive. So therefore, with the existing organization, there's a lot of pushback from the top, what people around you saying that, oh, AI is just a buzzword, maybe we shouldn't invest in AI. So therefore, we must figure out how do we be able to advocate AI in the right strategic way. Traditional product managers still do the cross-functional team collaboration and we still work with sales marketing team, bringing product into hands of customers. This AI product manager has one more complexity regarding AI communication. The fifth difference is technical decision-making and success metrics. A lot of people ask me, hey, Dr. Nancy, how technical do I need to be if I want to become an AI product manager? The answer is shockingly simple. You just need to make technical decisions regarding AI product and AI tools at the AI model. For example, as an AI product manager, you need to understand and decide and work with the engineering team to find out how to measure the accuracy of your product. You also need to work with the engineering team regarding where can you find the best data to train your model because Data is a fuel for AI. You also need to get up to date regarding what's the latest large language model being launched every single week, every single month. For example, what is the latest large language model getting launched this month? And what's the differences compared with older version and any other competitor's model so that you can work with the engineering team to make a strategic decision regarding which model to use. And you, as an AI product manager, also need to think about the business aspect of AI model selection, such as the cost of those API integration to those large language models. Therefore, AI product manager doesn't need to know how to code. You just need to make an important decisions so that you can communicate with the engineering team. Traditional product manager mainly focus on the traditional way to measure success of your product, such as user adoption, daily active user, user attention, churn rate, 
and user acquisition cost. As an AI product manager, we need to use the traditional product manager's metrics as well on top of the AI metrics I just described. Now you might feel a little bit stressed out because wow, there's so much different. There's so much to learn about the new trend of AI. So many different large language models and all the Google, OpenAI, and Tropic, they continuously launch those new AI models every single month and every single week. How can you quickly learn what the best methodology compare all different models. In my upcoming AI product management course, I'm going to share with you the different kind of methodology to compare different models and help you to quickly get up to date regarding the AI trend. And also gain hands-on experience to build your own AI product to create your own AI product portfolio. Make sure to join the waitlist of our brand new AI product management course will be launched in June 2026. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. The best way to learn AI is actually watching how other people build their own product. That's why you should check out this video where I give you the real life example with a day in life as an AI product manager. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMX Accelerator.io. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.